What is happening? You are listening to the Animal Crossing Podcast. I'm your host, N64Josh, with N64Gen. What's going on? Hey, how's it going? Good. We have a very, very special guest today. Belle, how are you? I'm doing great. You're doing great. I like to hear this. If you guys recognize that voice, it's because you probably watched our island tour video on YouTube. YouTube.com slash N64Josh. It's a three-hour video of us touring people's pumpkin patches and spooky islands and <laughs> and it was a lot of fun and bell joined us for that and announcement time we're gonna be doing that again this month and if you would like to have your island toured live on twitch and then have it posted on youtube later get a hold of us in the discord n64josh.com slash discord that's how you do it and we're going to be talking about that and so much more on today's episode but before we do let's get to know bella a little bit and her history with animal crossing is this your first animal crossing game this is my very first animal crossing game and how many hours would you say you have in this game over 600 over 600 hours. Okay, first game. What is keeping you playing this game for over 600 hours? I'm a very competitive person, so the fact that they have the fish that come out and the bugs and then terraforming came out and then giving all of my islanders their own little space, just redecorating and then the new stuff that just keeps coming out. That's what's kept me going. Yeah. And you're in you're in competition with Jen too, right? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> With everyone? <laughs> everyone. <laughs> That's funny. I love it. Love it. How, so you, you prepped your island for the, uh, the, the pumpkin tour. How did that go? Me? It was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. I probably had over a thousand pumpkins to prep for it. And then thousand? I had too many pumpkins that I didn't have any place to put decorations. So... Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. So did you enjoy the event or was it too stressful? It was a blast, especially getting to go to the other people's islands and seeing what all they created. That was really neat. It was rejuvenating. Yeah, absolutely. Jen, talk to us a little bit. Like give us some of the highlights from our from our island tours. I was blown away by everybody's creativity. I thought it was so much fun just seeing how different everybody's island was. Um, their pumpkin patch, their spooky whatever. We saw different mazes and um <laughs> for the first time ever I've had like fear and anxiety on Animal Crossing when we got trapped on a dock and we're being chased by someone with an axe. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bell Bell like screamed and yeah. like was like it was terrifying. Move, move out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the person was chasing us and they were all dressed up. It was hilarious though. It was so funny. Um and I, that was just it was just so much fun. Everybody had different costumes they changed into and um everyone's island it was just so different but uh, it was just a lot of fun. I loved seeing that. Yeah, it was it was great. Bell, what were some of your highlights from that uh from that day? Definitely the fact that like Jen was saying everybody's island was different and that was just real refreshing to see. I liked how people incorporated the different items that we already had um, back into like the one that was like mixers and elixirs kind of type thing or whatever potions and elixirs mm -hmm. and just different things like setting out the football and just how they incorporated the other items that we had in with the new ones that we received. Yeah, yeah that was good. I, I had a great time tearing my island. I ripped out my, my Zen garden and then put in a... a a hay maze yeah. and a little pumpkin patch and then made everything kind of look like I, I always look for, for inspiration in, in real life for me. Like how can this resemble the, the place where we go to get pumpkin patches or mm -hmm. get pumpkins, not pumpkin patches. Right. How can this resemble the pumpkin patch we go to? Right. And so that's, that's where I looked for my inspiration. And then there were some other people that like, we saw this crazy maze like we we had to go yeah. through this maze and it kept going yeah. and going. My maze is just very very like rudimentary little you know like you can get lost in two spots but you can pretty much see and if you really want to cheat you can just roll roll out of it because they're just <laughs> beds right so so it's not it wasn't all that that fancy but some of the stuff we saw was just was crazy it was like so much time yeah they put and, a lot of time into and it. and effort went into it and it was it was great to see and and. I, 
what I love about that so much is people can go back and watch it. They can find inspiration. Yeah. You know, and that's that's what's so that's what's so great about about this game, really. Like we we were talking. This is our third take on this on this show. And, and we <laughs> talked about like like how just being able to decorate outside in this one. It, yeah. it, it gives some like if this was like New Leaf. We wouldn't have these kind of, no. we couldn't do these kind of events. And, no. and for me, it's one of these things that's like, this is, this is about community at this point. Like we all get to participate in this and it really gives you something to do other than just, you know, catch bugs, catch fish, do the little events. We did have Halloween last night, which we're going to talk about here soon, but, but really it's like a, like we're kind of creating our own game within the game by doing these, doing these tours and, and, and coming up with themes for people to uh to do i mean what what do you think are you gonna is what what can we expect from from n64 gen in the uh in thanksgiving <laughs> is it gonna be is it gonna be or in november is it gonna be like a thanksgiving theme or is it gonna be uh uh like the mushrooms what do you, yeah, what do you think i am really excited for the mushrooms like i i've seen pictures i of them on instagram and whatnot other people have had them and I'm really excited for that. So I'm going to keep the fall theme going. Um, in real life, anybody that knows me, I've transitioned to Christmas. So, but in game, I'm waiting <laughs> until December. So yeah, I'm just going to go with the less Halloween, but still it's fall. Are you going to have a Christmas room in your house early? Oh my gosh. Oh, like, early? Like, you know, like. So right now it's very fall. And I did, you know, for summer, I had kind of a summer theme going in my main room. And then I made it more fall and cozy. But yeah, it's going to move towards winter this month just because that's what i prefer um bell how about how about you are you uh are are is this do you feel like this month is going to be as overwhelming as last month or do you feel like you're going to have a better uh like a better go at it this time well i think big and that's sort of my problem is i have a whole huge area and i can't just keep it simple into one little area which I think I would have accomplished things a lot better if that's how I would have just kind of just taken one piece at a time and said it, it was just a really huge thought process. But what I'm a little bit worried about is it doesn't look like there's going to be a whole lot of mushroom DIYs that come forward versus like when we move into Christmas. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to do that. So mine might be just kind of a little quaint area. I'll give you guys a little little sneak peek into what what I'm planning. Okay. I'm Ooh. going to create like a large banquet area Ooh. for the entire I with enough seats for the entire island Aww. and maybe some extra guests. I love it. And this. and just see where I can go from there. Like I don't I don't have the whole thing planned out, but like you know, I no, I I, like I, it. I think it'll be kind of fun to just kind of give uh, make it like an island-wide thanksgiving mm -hmm. you know friendsgiving basically exactly and so yeah that's so great yeah that'll be it'll be it'll be a lot of fun so i'm looking i'm looking forward to it and i'm looking forward to seeing everybody else's as well mm -hmm. like it'll be good but let's uh let's talk about halloween it's the it's november 1st you know we uh we got to hang out with jack yesterday the czar of of halloween mm -hmm. and so uh bell what did you think of the halloween event didn't really get to experience it for a very long time, but I thought it was really neat. Super cute. I love how all the characters were just. <laughs> and... <laughs> yes. Yeah, that was awesome. Um, I kind of wish there would have been a little bit more tricks. Like if they played a trick on you, something unique happened. Like maybe you had to race around the island and go find a pumpkin or something and take it back to somebody within X amount of time or I don't know. But overall, I think it was great. A lot better than Easter. Oh my goodness, yes, so much better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jen. What what did you think of the event? Did you uh, did you have a good time with with Jack? Yeah, I loved it. I was so excited. They did a really good job just getting everybody hyped leading up to it, and Isabel wearing her hat and everybody dressing up already, and um, and then I was bumming because I didn't get quite a few of the DIYs yet, and I thought I might miss out on them, and then was able to get them all last night from either Jack or my neighbor. So it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I was also worried about running out of candy, which was not a problem because, you know, we could trick or treat or whatever and get more candy from our, our neighbors. It was fun. Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it too. Like it, 
it felt like it was something you could you know put the the right amount of time into yeah like you didn't you didn't have to you didn't have to stick with it for for a super long time but i'm pretty sure i right. got all the diys i needed i'm pretty sure i got the new stuff that they were giving out like the wand and the yep. the uh pumpkin uh carriage, carriage you mm -hmm. know which was really cool to see yeah and which we got to see on our tours right, right? somebody some people already had them and it was like what what is this I thing know. like it was it was kind of cool to see yeah um and it makes me excited for next year yeah because it's like okay now Be we're gonna prepared. have even more you know even more items for uh uh for the Halloween season, so yep. it'll be it'll be fun because it was. I mean, you know, it, it took a village for me on this 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 go around to be like, hey, who's got anybody got this? I don't have any of these yet. I haven't seen this DIY mm -hmm. or you know, and so it was it was great. Um, no, it'll be great knowing next year we have everything everything ready to go. But I I thought it was funny that like Jack is a trickster, like he is a trickster. It was he's like, oh, keep 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 getting me lollipops, yeah, and you know my 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 loyal hound will have you know we'll, we'll have something good i'm like i think i think he's playing a trick here i think there's because i every time i give him a lollipop he'd give me the same thing over and over again and then tell me oh if you if you keep keep yeah you keep fetching and retrieving right. my lollipops you're gonna get a nice reward and i don't i don't think there was a nice reward i don't know maybe maybe somebody that played it longer could tell me if i'm wrong but i i think there was uh I think I think there was that a trick was, there. Yeah, and I think so too. <laughs> I, I I liked it honestly. I think it I think it was great. I liked getting turned into a like at one point I hit the wrong button and I Tammy tricked me so she painted my face with a with a bat and a pumpkin and turned my skin green and my eyes pink and you know yeah it was just that was cute it was yeah well, and it, was, it was fun how you could put on his clothes and then they'd give you candy right you trick them right they're you like oh here's exactly. candy and they're like wait a minute this is you not not jack yeah so, it was fun that, yeah it was <laughs> and that was fun while i was streaming it because people were like oh i didn't know i didn't know like i was like out of candy so i thought my event was over you know yeah. and so um some people were able to jump back in that way and keep and keep playing so yeah. i i liked it I a lot so now it's november yep. we've got we've got mushrooms we've got rain on my island yeah like we're gonna be prepping for for our community event but let's talk a little bit about these mushrooms and uh you guys you guys both had um some issues Right, because the way you had your islands designed, oh, yeah. that you that mushrooms weren't really growing. Why don't you give us some details on that, Jen? Yeah, so I had um, I had to go through my island this morning. I only had a couple of mushrooms because um, they grow under your tree, and I had to go through and remove either flowers or other objects. But then I went around <laughs> and laid down all these clear like patterns where it was a clear pattern or like a design spot with one small green pixel. And I went around and laid them all over my island so that I wouldn't get weeds or extra flowers growing and whatnot. And so then it dawned on me today, I'm like, oh, maybe that's why I don't have very many mushrooms because, so I did, I had to go through my whole island and walk around all my trees and pick the dirt and remove them and then flowers or anything. So keep that in mind if uh, you don't have a lot of mushrooms going up, that might be. Yeah, Belle, how did you do on mushrooms for the first day? Kind of a low quantity of mushrooms but with my transparent spot as soon as like the update happened i something happened to my my covering my transparent covering and all of my flowers are growing there now so i'll be interested to see if i go back and put it back down if it will continue to stop the flowers from growing but i wonder if it rains like right now if you'll get more mushrooms yeah I know. I'll be curious to see. Is there a set amount we get each day? And then, yeah, does the rain change it? If we right. sign off and log back in, all that sort of. Um, also, make sure you dig up all your fossil spots because they may not be fossil. Yeah, you've got it. You've got to dig. Like, if you've already completed your museum, you may not be thinking to dig up any fossils any longer. I never really do, but you're there's mushrooms hidden underground, so you'll yep. you you will miss out on them if you don't if you don't dig them up. So. Uh, and I mean, I think I have, I think I have all five today on the first day. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. And, and a couple duplicates. What? So, 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I have I have all five on the first day. Now it is raining, but I'm yeah. I'm curious again, like tomorrow, like you're saying, because you know certain like your flowers all are all getting watered today, right? right? Because it's because it's raining. So I'm curious if if mushrooms will be in abundance tomorrow. And so one of the things I'm doing is I am clearing out flowers. Yep. I am clearing out any any patterns that are that are uh, near the trees. But I've also got like I have a bunch. I have a little forest. And I've got all these uh, these skeleton models mm. in there that were, you know, yeah. from my little spooky yeah. forest area. So I'm gonna get them get them out of the yep. out of the picture so that you know we don't uh, they're not taking up spots where mushrooms might be growing. I mean, even cleaning up branches and and things exactly. like that. Exactly, that so was. That it's, it's a good point because I had left on um, purposely left some pine cones or acorns laying around because I thought they were cute and added to the fall field, but they are going to take up a spot that a mushroom grow. So good point. Now do the mushrooms grow around both of the trees, both types or only one? I cannot confirm that, but I do think on my Island, I only noticed them around the cedars, but that That's may not. Seen. Yeah. So I, I don't know. Time. Well, but I don't that's for so far that's been my what I've noticed yeah I the one spot where I have like an apple tree that would that has any kind of openings that a mushroom could grow there was nothing growing there so okay. you know but and I don't know I don't know that it's only by trees but so far I have not seen any just out by themselves they've all been they've, yeah they've all been next to next to trees so yeah that's what i've noticed so. yeah yeah so i'll be uh i'll be i'll be checking all my all my areas and seeing if i need to need to clean i, I saw a few like bees hives that were you know yeah. lay, laying on the ground and, and a few other things right. so we'll be cleaning that all up but uh yep. so um well what uh let's talk a little bit about like i've yet to you guys okay first of all I got to tell you guys a funny story. Oh, boy. Oh, no. So, Jen. Oh, dear. Borrows my ladder. Okay, yes. And doesn't give it back to me. Okay. Now, she likes to harass me because. Um, he doesn't have an incline to his house. Yeah. Yeah. This game is how old? <laughs> and he still uses a ladder every single time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I fire up my stream yesterday and I'm stuck <laughs> at my house. I start it's... getting texts on my phone. <laughs> you have my ladder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So Twitch thought it was hilarious. Yep. Right. They're As all they laughing. Should. And everybody's making inclined jokes like, oh, I'm inclined to tell you. That you should have an incline and, <laughs> and things like this. So, you know, so then she's like, oh, I'll be right there. I thought she was going to come into my office and like, you know, no, she jumps into Twitch chat and then just starts asking questions <laughs> like, like, why do you need a ladder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. These two are being awfully mild right now, but usually they're they're just razzing me and and laughing uh, much much harder than they than they currently are, just because. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, come on, you really should have a ladder by now, <laughs> or I mean, an incline and not need a ladder. But yeah, I mailed it to you, and you it's did, all good. Yeah, you did mail it to You're me. You're good. <laughs> it, 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 I'm what? surprised his mailbox was even up there. Oh, that's oh, true. Yeah. Wow, Good there thing, it is. Right? There, there it is. But did you learn a lesson that day? Like Ooh. you should build an incline now. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Still. I still no incline. I I have one available now. Okay. But I just don't have a great spot for it yet. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got too many flat. Like. Okay. Real talk. Oh oh boy, here we go. My right. island is not. Done. Right. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Again, how old is this game? I'm just kidding. But I'm afraid if I remove too many flowers to make the incline, that I'm going to lose my five-star rating. Or you, are you afraid you're just going to lose your weed? You work? don't. Intentional. <laughs> your intentional weeds. <laughs> weeds, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, all right. Now be. we're now we're firing on all cylinders here. Now you guys are getting a taste of what I've been experiencing before this show started. <laughs> These two were both laughing so hard that I couldn't even start this show yeah. all at my expense. So, you know. Yep. Uh, I had to share I had to share the incline story. What I'm going to have the best inclines ever. Good. Yeah, one day. And I think you're only going to lose like maybe four flowers, so I think you'll be all right. Hey. I think it's you good. Know, is, this, is this incline thing going to happen in your dreams or on your Animal Crossing island? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's happening in your guys' so dreams. So like by our next podcast, will you have can we can we podcast on your incline? Can we oh, we're gonna podcast Ooh, nice. on my incline. Okay. That would be that would be good. Okay. All right. Challenge accepted. No. <laughs> Although yeah, you might lose too many uh, flowers and your rating might go down. Uh, yeah, and I don't want that. I got my my right. lily of the valley. So or you whatever. just keep taking up those precious, valuable spots in your pocket with your ladder, and it's all good. Well, hey Jen, hey, I carry my ladder around. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is a I'm lesson here. Saying. Remember who you needed a ladder. You never know when you'll run across an N64 <laughs> Josh Island. <laughs> Yeah, I did need a ladder during the island tours. You are correct. I learned my lesson. <laughs> I always pick up my ladder and my pole when I like visit Mystery Islands, but uh, I just wasn't thinking that. And that that island that you needed it on, I believe the person was playing hide and seek with us as soon as we yeah, as soon as we that got was kind off of the, fun. the yeah. plane. Yeah, they were hiding. We had to find them. <laughs> yeah, that was that was awesome. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean. Okay, so confession time. Let's have a little bit of fun here. Okay. What have you not done yet on your island that you're like that you just keep putting off? I don't have inclines. My house has yet to be decorated on the inside. Like you guys saw it the other day, and you guys were harassing me um, big time. He doesn't time. even decorated have a closet. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. He has more toilets than I don't even know. And Home Depot. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, no closets and a million toilets. I also have the... Nobody has commented on, like, my telescope that's in my bathroom window. Oh, that's odd. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to skip this. <laughs> Move this subject along. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. But no, I think it's kind of a fun talking point. What do you feel? I mean, you know, we've all got close to or over 500 hours in this yeah. game. We still aren't done with, like, what do you feel like for you, Jen, that you, like, haven't done yet or you keep putting off? Anything? Yeah. One thing I have not done is my rock garden. Okay. So my island is complete, other than I'm changing it seasonally. My house is being changed seasonally, but it's all rooms are decorated. Um, so it would be the rock garden for me. I want to get them all oh in gosh, one area. Show off. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so when you say rock garden, you want to... So I have a designated area already for it, and I want to... See, this is why I haven't done it yet, because I'm going to have to go in and fill like every spot on my island that a rock could like spawn and then i have to go through and like smash all my rocks eat a piece of fruit and smash them and then cover my whole island so that it has to show up in the specific area that i have for it so why don't you just smash your rocks every day and just see where they right. show up well i mean right. i i could because yeah. you could get lucky i, I exactly I could. I could yeah you know because you're um, not doing them for money anymore right Typically, or, no, or I never even right now. So you could just start breaking them. Yeah, I could. I, I I can do that. Yes, but anyway, I it's a still it's a kind of a fun challenge though. But with that being said, that is then a permit. Like I mean, it's not permit. You can bust them up, but like that's a lot of work. Are you going to not ever going to want that like to no. change that area? No, I have it. Dec I like it's that's what that is for. That area is meant mm. for that. It's yeah, I, I made it special for that. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Bell, how about you? Do you have, do you have, is your island a continual work in progress? It is. Um, I kind of did a little bit like what you did. Um, my residence, I kind of took it from the whole California sort of theme where the residents are sort of stacked on each other, like as if it would be going down a mountain or a hill or something like that. Um, so there's three different layers of residents. Um, I've completed every single residence yard, which is different in some variation. 
And then, but I still haven't done, I have a second person because I needed storage desperately. Um, and so I haven't decorated my yard or my second person's yard. And then uh, I also have a garden area that I took from a real life inspiration. And, but over to the left side of my island, it's completely kind of bare now because the last two days I've been digging up all the flowers, but it was encased in flowers. So, and then I haven't decorated the inside of my house or my, my other person's house. That's a lot of hard work. And I'm very picky. I'm not really sure how to design. <laughs> well, my house was actually the last thing I did because it took so long to get enough, you know, of the furniture items. Because, like, well, what's the point in doing this unless you have enough of the items collected? So it does take a while to get what you want, I think. Well, and Belle, you were just in Lopez's house on my island and you really, really liked it. What did you like about that look? He's got mostly the iron, like the iron uh, wood or whatever, the, the, the iron cart and the iron, yeah. like the iron kitchenette. Is that, is that kind of the, is that one of the themes or one of the sets that you like? Um, I was actually just looking at the outside of his house. Oh, um, really? Because, yeah, because with my, um, I took careful placement on where I even put my villagers as far as what their houses look like. I believe it or not, but I got a piece of paper and sketched it all out of who would go where, depending awesome. on their house color and stuff like that. Um, so it was really neat because I haven't seen that kind of like little pig version of the six put together house. That's funny. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's awesome. That's great. Well, hey, we're just about at our at our half hour mark, so we're going to call it on this one. Okay. But we want to hear from you guys. What are some of the things that you haven't got to yet? If you're watching this on YouTube, you can let us know in the comments, or you can hop into the Discord and tag us, you know, at, at N64Josh or at N64Gen or at Bell of Disney and, and be like, here's what I'm still working on, you know, get, get, into the, get into the conversation. Again, we want to encourage you guys to... Uh, get involved with these um, community tours that we're going to be doing near the end of this month and where we get to where we get to we just fire up twitch we all jump into voice chat and we 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 check out what you uh, what you've come up with for for the month and again the theme is going to be like thanksgiving and fall. and like fall mushroom you know since yeah. there's all the mushroom diys so maybe i mean maybe that means that you're wanting to do like a uh, like a fairy garden. I know that's kind of what I'm thinking, or something like <laughs> yep, that. Nice. You know, there's yeah. there's there's some options there. So, um, guys, you can you can follow me everywhere at N64 Josh, Jen, N64 Jen, or Animal Crosser Jen for everything Animal Crossing. For everything Animal Crossing. All right, and Belle, you're just in the Discord, right? You don't really do much for social. Right, I'm kind of a little bit invisible. A little, oh. bit, a little bit invisible. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So fun. Yeah. Thanks for harassing me about my inclines, guys. It's no the, it's the, it's Any, the, anytime. It's the best. Yeah. All right. Well, we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye now.